Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Aviation Security Explain. My name is Gary Lung, Manager of Security and Facilitation at ACI Asia Pacific. To raise more awareness of the importance of aviation security, we have created a series of videos to look into the various security issues from a layman's perspective. In our two earlier videos, we went through the basis and the evolving nature of aviation security. Uh, these videos are available on our YouTube channel. And this, in this episode, we turn to the impact of the pandemic. COVID-19 has definitely caused a devastating impact on the entire civil aviation industry. With the worldwide border restrictions and quarantine measures, we have seen the largest drop in passenger traffic since the dawn of civil aviation. As you can see on the chart, uh, the drop in passenger traffic after 9-11 in 2001 and the global financial crisis in 2008 were nowhere near the scale we are experiencing with COVID at the moment. And I think you would have heard a lot in the news about the financial difficulties the entire industry is facing. However, there hasn't been little attention given to the pandemic impact on airport security. Uh, as we saw in the previous videos, aviation security plays a crucial role in preventing acts of unlawful interference. Uh, even in the face of the pandemic, uh, airport security teams have given their best endeavor to upkeep the higher security standards while ensuring the health safety of the passenger. Later on, you will hear more on uh, what airports have done so far. Uh, following the outbreak of the pandemic, ICAO, which is the United Nations Specialized Agency on Civil Aviation, created a task force called the Council Aviation Recovery Task Force, or CART for short, to lead the global restart and recovery efforts of the industry. One of the most notable outcomes of this task force has been the development of the CART report. Uh, this is a very detailed document. It lists out all the principles and recommended measures for states and industry stakeholders to consider implementing in order to safely resuscitate air travel while minimizing the risks of COVID transmission. So you may wonder why it is important to have such global guidance. Uh, this is to avoid a patchwork of inconsistent measures adopted by each country and thus causing confusions to passenger. Uh, as a member of the task force, ACI actually helped develop the CART report. Uh, it was first published in May 2020, and now it is already in its third edition, responding to the rapidly evolving nature of the pandemic. Uh, the report includes a section on airport security, which I will get to in the next slide. If you recall in the pre-pandemic times, uh, passengers would have to queue in close proximity to go through screening. There were also lots of physical interactions at security checkpoint between passenger and screeners. Uh, with COVID-19, this clearly became problematic. So what you see on the screen are some of the card recommended measures for security operations at airports. Uh, these measures include mandatory wearing of personal protective equipment by screener, uh, physical distancing throughout the checkpoint, Adjustment to some current screening procedures to minimize physical contact with the passenger. Uh, using alternative measures for alarm resolutions to minimize the need for hand search. Enhanced cleaning and disinfection. And of course, more hand sanitizer of, uh, across the checkpoint. I'm sure if you work at the airport or had a chance to travel recently, you will have seen some of these uh, adjustments applied it at the security checkpoint. In August 2020, uh, ACI actually issued a guidance document called the Post-COVID-19 Aviation Security Playbook. Uh, it aims to help airports implement the CART recommended measures by offering some hands-on and practical example in addition to what are written in the CART document. Uh, the playbook is free of charge. Uh, you may refer to the link on the slide or down at the description section uh, of this video on our YouTube channel to access the playbook. Uh, so it is totally understandable that minimizing the risks of transmission 
uh, of COVID-19 is the top priority for many airports at the moment. But we should not forget uh, that it is also equally important for airports to maintain the highest level of security standards at all time. Uh, the pandemic has inevitably made security operation more challenging. Uh, we actually did a survey in December 2020 among the ACI Asia Pacific Regional Aviation Security Committee member to understand some of the challenges in security operation due to COVID. Uh, from the result that we collected, uh, we have been able to identify four common high-level challenges. I will go over each of them in the coming slides. The first challenge is uh, budgetary cutback. Uh, the table on the left shows the impact of budget cuts on future security investment by airports. Almost three quarters of the airport respondents said that they have deferred or suspend plans for security equipment upgrades. And the chart on the right shows around 80% uh, of the respondents are operating at reduced staff level at the moment as compared to a pre-COVID level. As you can imagine, uh, this would put pressures on those who are on duty to adequately perform security tasks. Uh, another challenge we are seeing at some airports are aviation security resources or staff being diverted to support public health screening. 56% uh, of airports indicated that temperature checks are being conducted at the security checkpoint and 65% of the airports said that their staff are directly or indirectly involved in temperature screening processes, including uh, monitoring thermal cameras set up at the security checkpoint. For now, this might not be a problem because uh, passenger traffic uh, has been so limited but it will definitely be alarming uh, if security staff are required to execute or monitor public health measures in the longer term, uh, even after traffic starts to come back. Uh, we firmly believe security staff are only trained to be responsible for performing duties purely related to aviation security, but not public health. The third challenge uh, is the possibility of new security risks caused by COVID. For example, uh, some airport indicated that insider threat has uh, become once again a top concern due to employee furlough or laid off. Uh, another potential new risk could be the concealment of prohibited item under full PPE suit. Uh, the additional health protocols added to the normal screening procedures may affect the quality of screening. And last but not least, uh, airports are concerned about the risk of deteriorating performance standards of screeners uh, because of the lack of work. Um, and the fourth challenge we identify is the impact of public health measures on the capacity of security checkpoints. By capacity, I mean the number of people who, get, who can be processed at a certain period of time. Uh, the key factor that leads to capacity reduction is definitely the requirement of physical distancing. Uh, when asked about the estimation of checkpoint capacity reduction in the survey, uh, the answers are actually quite divided as you can see on the chart. Uh, we suspect that because of the limited traffic, airports have difficulties estimating the actual impact. Uh, but we are quite sure that there will be an impact on the handling capacity of security checkpoint to a certain extent. And also, uh, it became clear through the survey that the entry area, the divestment area, uh, and the repacking area are the most difficult areas to maintain physical distancing at the security checkpoint. Uh, so you can imagine once traffic goes back to normal, it would almost be impossible uh, to strictly maintain physical distancing at the checkpoint. So that's a very quick overview of some of the general security challenges as the industry recovers from COVID-19. Uh, we know that everyone is eager to start traveling again to see friends, families, and business connections. I hope after, after watching this video, uh, the next time you come to an airport, you can appreciate all the measures in a new perspective. 
I can assure you that the airport community, including the security teams, have been doing their best to ensure your next journey is safe and efficient. Uh, and if you are part of airport management or work as a policymaker, I do hope that this video provided a good refresher and overview of the security challenges faced by airports in light of COVID-19. Uh, we strongly encourage taking a balanced approach when devising the plan for recovery going forward. And this brings us to the end of this episode of Aviation Security Explained. If you would like to watch the full video series again, uh, please visit our website or YouTube channel. I would also be keen to hear which topic uh, would be of interest to you in the future. To provide your feedback or if you have any question, feel free to contact me directly by email or by phone. Uh, in the meantime, stay safe and I hope we will have a chance to meet in person very soon. All the best and goodbye.